Welcome to Sad Boys, a podcast about feelings and other things also. I'm Jarvis. <laughs> FM 21 in the radio evening. <laughs> <laughs> Sad Boys 96.9. 69.69. Sorry, I'm, FM. Dr- I'm drunk. Yeah. I don't remember the... I'm wasted. Um, Do you ever do Tradish Radio, you reckon? Someone came along there like, once a week, radio play. Probably not, but it's cool and I respect it. Sway in the morning, new host. Okay, hold on. <laughs> do I get to have rappers come on and do um, freestyles? Yeah, and they have to. It goes for too long, <laughs> yeah. and it's like we tell them they have to wrap it up, dude. Those, okay, those freestyles feel a little bit like um, those interviews that like uh, GQ or whatever do, where it's like uh, Timothy Chalamet looks at Google searches about himself, <laughs> and they there's always that part where they get out like a fourth board. He's like. Okay, All right. <laughs> this is a little longer than I thought. <laughs> yeah, okay, does Tim Fish that may eat oranges? I don't know why that yeah, is, is so Googled. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess they're not like a favorite fruit of mine. But <laughs> we are on the 30th most. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, two more hours and one oh, of them okay, I, interesting. I actually do one more I get slimed. I do whatever. think you should guys should have edited this like <laughs> before we filmed for two hours. God, that must, that must be ig. Like exhausting, like waking up at six a or like five a.m. or whatever to go over to the GQ office and do twenty interviews where it's all games. Like try British snacks. Have <laughs> you seen the? Um, there is a video that went viral recently of Miley Cyrus talking about her schedule when she was like filming Hannah Montana, oh, and it was crazy. it was like six a.m. wake up, do thirty interviews, then do like a meeting, and then film something, and it was like, oh my god, we are working these children to the bone god dude that's like any friend we've had that like <laughs> used to play on like a, a college football team like cody was like there oh he yeah used to talk about his schedule he would literally one of our favorite people ever a friend cody used to play the usc was so get up and go i don't know if he had to sleep at all because he would describe his day as uh Hey, I asked him for like advice one time. Like, how do I establish a routine? What do you do? Because he's also jacked. And I was like, ah, oh, what's this yeah, like? Yeah. And he's like, uh, well, bro, the thing is, is that you've got to find a rhythm that works for you. So me, my comfort zone, and I have friends that do a little and more And what's than really this. easy and natural for but, me. Yeah. And that's just <laughs> me. I'm just joking. I have friends that like really put in the work. Me, I wake up at 4.30, 5 a.m. Yeah. Uh, I read for an hour. <laughs> right, for <laughs> sure. That was the one that got I me. I read, meditate. I do like that Goku thing where he's like <laughs> fighting in his mind. It feels like a day to me, but it is in fact only an hour. Right. Uh, I'm I strategize. like a half elf where I don't really sleep. It's more <laughs> I, of like a meditation. <laughs> <laughs> I hit him with one of these every time I sleep. <laughs> oh, I'm staring. Uh, yeah, and then and then uh, I gotta hit the gym. Then he gotta do gotta do hit the gym, strength day, carbo every day. load, and then it's time for nine hours at work. I eat the I eat Italy <laughs> <laughs> in terms of carbo loading. And then he would just I you know, I know I know your stamina would increase over time and you'd climatize or whatever, but like I feel like the the max on my tank is pretty small. Like I'm working to get to max right, right like now. But I'm like the first generation of electric cars where they like drove for like 10 miles and everybody was like, yay. <laughs> it's just, just like, Look at it go. <laughs> De- deactivating, <laughs> help, help. <laughs> yeah, it makes it down the street and they go, wow, history is being made right now. We're so proud of it's, you. It's literally like if I was like, hey, hey Cody, I, I want to, I'm first one not sponsored. And secondly, <laughs> Cody, I can fill up to about here right now but i'm yeah. having some chronic fatigue and I'm, i should be working out more and stuff and a like, baby talking about his first six steps before he <laughs> falls back down into a crawl and then he just goes like oh the thing is here are some tips on how you can get here and then he describes a routine that he's got the big goals <laughs> <laughs> hundreds of times over oh mr hat fall, oh no mr falling off hat oh, i didn't oh, the hat is always good. code for i didn't do my hair <laughs> <laughs> sir <laughs> Howdy. Hey. I have, okay. Well, I have so much respect for college athletes, but also I feel like we have to recognize how much we are working them oh, too hard. We, Be- they don't get paid, right? Well, yeah, so this has been a thing. Like uh, in NCAA sports, like they historically have not been able to make any money. Uh, there's been various scandals, like where people's awards 
like Heisman trophies and shit have been taken away because they like signed autographs on the side to make like a quick buck. Because literally, <laughs> why are you allowed to take a trophy away? I won. <laughs> I did it. It's, it's yeah, over. It's like, who cares? I think that happened to Reggie Bush, <laughs> USC, like. 2003. You actually fuck if I know, dude. I'm just, you, <laughs> I'm just throwing out numbers. You no longer were the best actor. <laughs> yeah, you actually were worse. You were using you performance were, enhancing drugs you with that rude. act with that acting performance. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so imagine a world where you are forced to not forced, but you go to you get a scholarship, and it's like okay, cool, and they they're like this scholarship is for your education. Now you're going to be working out from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. <laughs> every day. It conflicts with every one of your classes. <laughs> you are not going to be able to go to your classes. You're going to fail all your classes. Why aren't you focusing on your education? However, you can't make any money. But the exposure that right. you won't get. <laughs> the exposure of giving your body to uh, a, a school that's getting that's paying their coach millions of dollars and, and there, there's TV deals where the school is making millions and millions of dollars off of uh, your likeness and then your your body and your like performance on the team. And then you might not even be and, and then like the upside is maybe you become a famous player. Yeah. And then the mega <laughs> upside is that you maybe go professional. Yeah. The, like the, It's like all of those needs and demands on behalf of the team. And then like, but if. You happen to be one of the greatest athletes ever born. Yeah. This then there might be off, more after maybe. this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, there's like 450 players in the NBA total. And there are more players in March Madness, in the March Madness tournament. <laughs> like, it, it, and and then, God forbid, there's like a couple dozen who join the NBA. It's like an every, MLM. Yeah, like, dude. Not everyone can win. Stop telling them Yeah, that. it's like, yeah, it's as if, it's as if, like uh, NBA players, at least to my knowledge, or professional athletes do the just hus just hustle harder and then you can – I'm sure they recognize that some people are not born seven foot four. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, um, I just said it though, by the way. I don't know if you have the same experience. I wonder if people could tell early on if they're watching the video version of the podcast whether it's – an episode with Anastasia on it by the fact that we look at it. <laughs> we always look at Anastasia. Hey. We were just hanging out for like like an hour before the show. And yeah. so on instinct, I'm like having a conversation directionally. You know, like, am I right? Should we and set up an Anastasia cam where it's like- it's from above? Have like a- Yeah, yeah it's like a above. security cam. Yeah, it scans left and right. I'm in the corner. It's like a fisheye lens where you're like, <laughs> it looks like a 90s music video where you're like, <laughs> you're a skating. TLC video, you're like looking into the lens. It might be good because, you know, I'm often like laughing and nodding silently. Right. And so if you need to cut for reaction. <laughs> yeah, Anastasia can, but no Jacob can. <laughs> no. The mystery no one has to remain. is allowed to truly know what you guys see. <laughs> what if we do Jacob Cam as a VTuber? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Your code Mi Mika, Miko. Mika, yeah. Um, well, yeah, what, the, what setup do we need? Uh, we'll, we'll figure this out. Or a dramatic recreation. We'll figure what this out. What if I'm in a separate room in a little box? Yeah, like on like Howard Stern <laughs> yeah. or something. <laughs> yeah, you like Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> I wish uh, it wasn't a Jobby video. Like, you're like doing one of these. <laughs> it, wasn't, I, it wasn't like a Jobby style video. It, it was in that vein. It was Jobby core. Uh, Jay, Jay Aubrey mode. And it was about... The history of Howard Stern and you know oh. rise to fame plateau and uh, then additional yeah that's rise. uh that's uh Patrick CC yes indeed shout out shout out Patrick CC friend of the show friend of uh, not really but like I like Patrick CC we've DM'd before I can't remember what about not a fucking friend of mine Bill <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you that much it's popping popping off recently. he was mean to Howard <laughs> <laughs> um you should start using a butterfly now <laughs> that would be cool oh, yeah, just like flicking when, it around during the show. Like with the Jess and the Shugs, you know? We Why doesn't we'll Katie post those videos where she like... She uh, she she put pause on it. She's on the butterfly game right now. I see. I see. Doxed, sorry. I don't know if that's public information, but she's scared. Yeah. She's a big baby. She lost too many fingers. <laughs> she's down to her last few. How you doing? I'm good. Wrong. Answer. I'm bad. 
Mm, right at you. I'm fine. I'm Man, great. Okay. Things are not good for me. <laughs> <laughs> one eye's great. Um, yeah, yeah, just one eye. I'm the, 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 the that like emoji. Oh. Like half and half. Um, I was walking on the sidewalk in the park, right? And someone had their dog on a long leash that was tied to their car door. Whoa. And the dog started running at me and barking at me. Big dog? Yeah. It was like a Doberman. Huh. And I was like, maybe if you know your dog is like that, don't have them unattended tied to a car door. Tied Ta- to the handle? The handle. Which the feels like it could just open the, the door. door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the only part designed to open it? Yeah, I don't know. It didn't seem very well thought out. But then, so the dog like, because... Uh, the dog ran out and it, it, the car was parked on the sidewalk or excuse me, the car was parked next to the sidewalk on Mm -hmm. the curb, off the curb against the curb. You know how parking is. Um, (laughs) and, (laughs) and, uh, and wheels and shit and wheels and cars (laughs) and dogs. You've seen those. (laughs) uh, I was, I was walking on the sidewalk and I didn't really, like I saw the leash, but it wasn't. I like just was I was absentmindedly walking on the sidewalk at the park, you know, like and Whoa, so I like I realized I was, together. <laughs> I was approaching a leash. And then like the leash goes taut. And I was like, wait, what? And then I started, I like stepped over the leash because it was taut and far away from me. But then the dog was mad that I walked over the taut leash that was blocking the I should have just walked out into the road, is what I should have done. Cause on the right was the dog. Well, and could, on the left was the car. So could the dog have just looped around and gone? Like into the road, though. Sure, because that absolutely that's so dangerous. Mm-hmm. There's not really anything stopping the dog from yep. doing that. Yep, especially just not on a leash. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Maybe the dog was mad that you disrespected it by stepping over it. I like should have asked. I should have yeah. limboed under it. Like it's he like when to. an NBA player steps over someone. Who right, <laughs> it's that's disrespectful. True. Yeah, I did like a Draymond Green or whatever, this dog or, had, a, or or a Ty Lu Allen Iverson situation. Exactly. This dog had very poor. Uh, court decorum, um, bad, bad b-ball IQ. So the dog started barking at me and then I'm obviously comfortable with dogs, but you never know mm. with someone, when it's someone else's dog, what they're capable of. So Especially I just like, with someone that, I don't know, this doesn't seem like a very effective dog owner to be tied. Cause I had like my, so dog. I like kind of like put my arms up cause I didn't want anything to be like grabbable. And then I looked into the window of the car and there's somebody just standing there like this. What? And just like not just avoiding eye contact with me because they heard their dog. They just don't want a dog. Do you know what I mean? I feel like I've known a handful of people like that where they get it enthusiastically or whatever. And they realize they don't like walking, training, feeding, hanging out with or really doing anything with a dog. It's like, but they invest in it like you would like like an NES. And they're like, "Eh, I don't really, I'm just going to play PS5. I get it. Like um, some days, uh, you know, I'll be lower energy and I'll like take my dog to the park where it's a dog park and it's actually the place where dogs are supposed to go. Do you tie <laughs> them a, to like a motorcycle or something? Yeah, I go to the dog park, <laughs> but I tie my dog to the fence so it can't really move. I go to the construction um, site. So I tie it outside the fence of the dog park onto the sidewalk so that when people walk by, he gets anxious. And I want to make sure to put a, a treat on the other side of the street so he mm. runs directly into the center of the highway, right, which right, I'm on. Right. But I get it. Like, sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm low energy, so I'm going to go to the dog park and just sit and then and then just, like, make sure he's good. Or even if I don't go to the dog park, I'll, like, sit in the yard and, like, have him, like, run around and just make sure I'm supervising. But in all the situations... But you I'm are also s- the highest effort dog owner I've ever known. You super- put in, like, a lot of work and <laughs> but, you're yeah, good but owner. It's like I'm, su- I, I'm supervising. Yeah, because like that's the owner. whole thing with dogs is if they're not like independent citizens. <laughs> sometimes like, I'm so tired and I take my kid to the park and it's like you figure it out, dog. Yeah, you sometimes have a little fun. Sometimes yeah, I run into a dog at the store and they're like, my owner sent me here for <laughs> for some cigs. They can't be bothered. Dogs are notoriously pack animals. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they don't want to just be alone tied to a car. Uh, so, yeah. They're pack animals in that they get me a pack of cigarettes yeah. from the corner store, four miles away. Um, they're allowed to use the car. So uh, I, I don't smoke, by the way. That was a, a joke about a fictional person. Oh, They're, dogs are, I'm allergic, actually. <laughs> your dog's over 18 in dog years. So yeah, it's exactly. Okay to there sell we go. A cigarette. Is it? It's 18 here as well for cig- cigarettes. Yeah. Weirdly. Who's 21? Oh, it's 21 uh, now? Wow. Nationally. Yeah. Wow. Jacob's 
huffing on that devil's lettuce, <laughs> sounds like. Yeah, he, that's like the, the words of somebody who's freshly 21. Um, <laughs> it's 21 now. Yo, oh, fuck. <laughs> this hurts. <laughs> fuck. Oh, dude, my lung is turning black. Um, I had a funny dream. Um, so you know what? Okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> like quirky I'm okay. I had a funny dream. Hi, ooh. ooh. <laughs> uh, uh, so, you, if someone texts you, I had a dream about you. I feel like there's certain thoughts oh, that come through your head about that, right? So I I knew this ahead of time when I texted our friend Mayuko, uh, because I had a dream that Mayuko was a important piece of, but she was not in the dream. Mm. Um. And it was the most stressful dream I've ever had. The dream was that I had misplaced her phone in a drawer and I couldn't find it. Oh, uh. <laughs> and I, the dream was literally just me opening drawers <laughs> and going, I know it's in here somewhere. Were you having the and, like, and opening uh, other dreams? The, the, uh, there's an endless number of drawers. The, I like... don't, I can't remember, like there were more details to the dream while it was happening but I can't remember them all now, but there were just many a drawer and I kept being like, no, this isn't it. And and then I just kept being like, oh, she's going to be home soon. And I've lost her phone. Why am I at a house? I don't, that was not a question that crossed my mind. So I texted her in the morning and I was like, listen, <laughs> I had a dream about you, but it's not what you think. You weren't in the dream. Did you get this text? <laughs> it's important. <laughs> but your phone is missing. Uh, she was I, like, I have my phone. Don't worry. You know, like, okay, thank God. It is a little weird, but at the same time, oh, I would feel so bad. Oh. If I lost someone's phone. Ugh, the guilt. I don't, know what, I, I don't know what to do. All if I lose Biden, it's gone. Shit, it's, oh, what a pain. My, uh, the secret I'm revealed on the show, this is the second recording since, but I think during the Tommy episode, maybe, I uh, left my wallet and AirPods. My AirPods are tracked here. They, they, they should be, but... I have not been able to find my wallet and I'm having an issue of not being able to remember what I own. That's the, my old ones I found. Oh, thankfully only one works. What the heck? But both charged. <laughs> okay. <laughs> These ones, um, it's just nasty. They, I was going through TSA one time. Ew, nasty. And I dropped them and they just flew out. Oh yeah. And I uh, just kind of wiped my shit. <laughs> some. So yeah. bad. I mean, hey, we live in a society. You have to sometimes. What are you going to do? Not listen to anything? Yeah, what? Stay with my own thoughts? No, no shot. For Twenty minutes. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> what am I going to do? Play Marvel Snap? I'm lost, dude. I'm in it. I'm in. Oh, you are. State, oh, I've dude. been thinking about it. Don't do it. Because you know, you know, it's I was just a, another thing. <laughs> you know, I was a Hearthstone bastard. It is a really nice, slightly less. Um, there's there is meta. But it's a slightly less intensive version of Hearthstone, and the games are shorter. So I really well, like. Well, here's it. the thing: the lead game designer of Hearthstone, Ben Brode, is the lead game designer of Marvel Snap. What a hack! And, dude. Uh, Get a new idea. You know what and, I mean? And uh, they they started Second Dinner, I think, is the name of the development company uh, after leaving Blizzard. Just, and I do really love good. Ben Brode, or at least like me me as of you know 2014 Jarvis, who was a big Hearthstone head. Loved that man because I would just watch all of his updates and pay attention to like the meta. And I got legend, you know, like every season and stuff. And I was almost you top did. 100 in North America, but I played dog on stream. Would you say almost? Yeah, I literally, it was like at the end of the legend season. And I played one of the biggest Hearthstone streamers on stream. And I found out he was streaming. Uh, Cause I was just like, I was watching his stream and then I queued up against him <laughs> and then I closed the tab. Cause I, I'm not going to stream snipe. Uh, but then I lost the game. So it's, oh, I better not have stream snipe. <laughs> I lost the game. And then I went back and I looked at the, Oh, like the chat, the tape. <laughs> and, it, and it was like, oh, people were making fun of me like crazy. They were like, why would he do that? And I was like, I was nervous. OK, I can't see the gods. And I, that was like <laughs> I was, you know, 100. I was ranked like 120 mm -hmm. uh, in, in the North American legend ladder. And I tanked after that to like 200 something. I, I closed up shop, didn't didn't end up. I really wanted to get on the blog post, because if you hit top 100 legend, you get posted uh, the hundred players we like yeah not Th that was gonna be pathetic me. but anyway i am winding down on boulder skate yes. i'm winding down and by winding down i mean i am on act three of my honor mode playthrough sure. yeah. winding down this playthrough and i'm winding down <laughs> this playthrough 
And I might, I kind of want to play Dragon's Dogma just because people are talking about it right now. Oh, forewarned. I'm getting it refunded. I bought on PS5 because I'm on the PS5. Oh, I heard PC. PS5 is rough. It runs like, I think yeah. that's unacceptable now. I don't yeah. think you can drop sub 20 FPS on a console now. Yeah. I don't think that's I think that's. Allowed. I think that's fair. On the RE engine, the best optimized engine that exists right now. Yeah. I, I, I know they're, I know they're fixing that. Uh, most of the people who are like enjoying it are PC players. So I'd definitely be playing it with yeah, PC. Yeah, Ethan's been more of a note. Um, but, but yeah. And then also, yeah. So anyway, I might play that a little bit. Um, Good Steam Decker. I know. I got the Steam, I, I ordered a Steam Deck. So that's. Maybe just arrived? Maybe I'll find out after the show if that just arrived. Um, but yeah, I'm looking for my next obsession. I kind of a little bit, maybe just a tad want to play the older Boulder games or kind of just slightly, maybe just a tad want to play like Divinity Original Sin. But yeah. the um, I did just start playing Original Sin 2 again. It, uh, it It is really good. Okay. It's the, it's, you know, I wish it did have the kind of intimacy of the, uh, shot reverse shot camera and like the voice acting, but I think the definitive edition they did act add voice acting. Yeah, I've heard it's all voice acted, uh, at least DOS too. And um, oh, so you will notice the first two hours is the same game. Oh yeah, the shipwreck thing. The I didn't know about that. The beach is the same shape. <laughs> it's cool. I, I don't mind. Uh, yeah, I mean whatever. It's cute. The uh, the sad news about Boulder Gate is that it's it's sad and glad, I guess. Is um it was announced at uh, GDC that Larian is not producing DLC for Boulder's Gate. Yeah. They are still doing patches, yeah. and they are still doing some um, cutscenes, some like evil ending cutscene stuff. Yeah. Um, but they started working on a DLC patch and then or DLC update, and then their heart wasn't in it. And then also the streets are saying that they don't want to work with Watsi, which I totally get. <laughs> Fair enough, because um, Watsi's been just a badly run company that like just the stuff that they do with magic, the gathering where they're like bleeding their consumers dry and they, I mean, Larry to be fair, did public say it's not the case, but they, that's they, diplomacy. They dude. The that's like very, so would I, yeah, if Sven, I were in that situation. Sven Vinka seems like he's a upstanding guy who wouldn't professionally burn any bridges, but, but I personally am theory crafting, uh, the narrative that no, why would you ever want to, you make <laughs> yeah. the most popular game, uh, one of the most popular games of the year, the most critically acclaimed game of the year, and then you cut a hundred million dollar check to Wizard of the Coast, who you hate working with. <laughs> yeah, like every other game. <laughs> and you're like, all right. Um, <laughs> and they're like, not good. At, this game sucks. Um, but that was a thing where they were like, uh, so Sven Vinka, the the CEO and founder of Larian, was uh, or the president and founder. I don't know if he's CEO, but anyway. Um, he should be the president. He, he should be the president of the United in his armor suit. Uh, he he said that um, you know the Boulder Skate characters are now in the you know the hands of Wizards of the Coast, and they'll they'll I'm sure they'll they understand the weight and they'll handle them with care. And then everyone's eyes collectively <laughs> rolled because no fucking shot is that happening. They mix up Gale and Karlak. Like, <laughs> Gale's big hot heart. Yeah. Ga yeah, yeah. Ga Gale has to go to Avernus <laughs> to uh, avenge <laughs> Mistra. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, oh no, a tadpole has entered you. You might become a, a watcher. <laughs> uh, oh, it's okay. Like, yeah, no, kind I of. guess, yeah. What, oh, you could become a mind layer. Oh, <laughs> dude, don't even get on the Nautilus. <laughs> <laughs> um, the naughty boy, the not a Lloyd. <laughs> um, yeah, what have we been talking about? Maybe we do a little playthrough. Or something we should talk about. It. Yeah, I would. I would. Uh, I would dust off my old spell white gloves um, and get into it. Um, yeah, I'm. You know what's funny about this honor mode playthrough is that there have been a few like close calls and a few like really hard things, but it's only because I wasn't paying attention <laughs> it's frustrating that it wasn't the game's fault i feel you yeah I, yeah like, oh, shit. and i'm like okay because now now it feels like a foregone like i'm sure it's pot it's definitely possible that i make a stupid mistake like for example uh i failed the um i failed the defend the portal mission for like the first oh, time yeah. <laughs> because i was doing uh i was like doing an icy surface thing and trying to 
basically make everybody fall prone so I could do the crowd control easier. And I myself felt prone. You succeeded in a way. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't, and I'm like, if I had thought about this for two seconds, I could have prevented, I could have put on boots that prevented me from falling prone, you know? And so like things like that where I'm like, okay, whatever. But, uh, but in general, I like, I used strong builds because I didn't want to take any fucking chances. There's no like, there's no honor in, like, I mean, I wouldn't feel any better if I were doing it, making it harder on myself for no reason. So I want but, this uh, week's worth of hours to be worthwhile. Exactly. Yeah. That's the thing. And then I looked at my hours and it's like 38 hours on this playthrough, which is like much less than I thought. And then I also realized that I rushed into act three because I was just so over it. Um, and it's like not it's not the game's fault. It's just like I have now gone through these motions so much yeah. and I don't feel the like novelty and act two is it's my least favorite it's, not, it's great i mean the yeah, game's yeah, great yeah. but it is the it's not very fresh on replays but then i wanted and this is my, again my own fault is that uh i started playing around with um reverberation builds mm. and uh radiating orb builds and uh i have a decent uh shadow heart build for that but a few key items uh, are in act two and i didn't think until i went to act three that i was going to try to actually go hard into that build. And so I locked those off and I'm like, well, I didn't need them, but that was going to be a fun little experiment. And now I don't have that. There's a few things where I'm like, okay, well, this isn't meant to be the playthrough where I a hundred percent everything. Cause I've already kind of seen everything that I want to see. Uh, but yeah. So I just started, um, act three and I've just been like just grinding to level 12 so that I can mm. just just kind of speed run the end of the game um hopefully hopefully I win I, I do think the final boss is easier than like a lot of the boss like I think That's I'm more stressed out about Orin yeah. <laughs> um, oh my god the Orin the dirge version of Orin but it's fucking yeah. rated. I, I'm actually uh, more stressed about the non-dirge version because the uh the skellies and the and also she's, you know, going to have Slayer for him. And then there's the the uh, Untouchable or whatever it's called. She ain't getting Slayer for him in my run, but I'm, I'm murdering left and right. What is the, what is the... Oh, a legendary? Uh, no, legend? no. The um, the thing where you can't do any damage. You have to for like five off hits or whatever. Yeah, yeah, but she has it for 12. Ugh. And so, and then I'm like, okay, am I going to have to like do a, like a magic missile build or something to like knock those off as quickly as possible or like what's my game plan and is she then going to teleport behind me literally teleport behind me and then it's seven stabs instant death. i know dude the fucking that pissed me off okay anyway um I'm, I'm iced on it it is i gave my ps5 to katie for an extended period <laughs> now do i forget my pc because i do i'm not deliberately on solely yeah yet. but i think uh i've been getting um visa anxiety about long-term stuff where you know when my last one was you know getting close to the end of it or whatever there were a few, I won't say regrets, but there were a few like, I really wanted to have a car by now. And I really wanted to get back in the gym by now. And like, mm -hmm. I, I'm getting so close now that I don't want to invest my time in stuff that would be habitual, because what's the point? Or I don't want to do DIY, what's the point, you know, if I'm not here. So now I'm, I'm taking a little break including to just play other video games. I know, that's I that's know. that's my other thing. It's like I want to get around to other stuff. I'm not going to not go back, right? Yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. I'll, I'll I'll shoot my shots. Plus like if other people if like I was going to play with other people or stuff like that, then that's the thing. But I'm like in terms of my own solo experience, the one experience I still want to have is doing um a uh, solo tactician dirge run. I think it would be really fun to do like an assassin like Gloomstalker assassin solo build mm. where I'm just constantly invisible and killing people outside of combat. Like that would be fun. And I haven't done that yet. I haven't done any solo runs yet and that would be fun. But that's like, maybe that's a tinkerer. That's a, like when I like kind of come to every now and again, you know, when you, uh, you reach peak meta yeah, and your brain is expanded to squish against your skull. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I even didn't take the, the enhanced tadpole this time. I was like, I'm already too strong. I'm already the king. <laughs> I'm already well, too strong. I don't need this. I'm going to stay pretty, actually. Yeah. And I'm playing it as Origin Will, which is fun. I um, fucking love Origin Gale. Yeah. It's so fun. And he's fun to be. 
Because you have your cat. And my kitty cat. And I also just like, uh, I like the RP of uh, Gale. I think he's like an interesting, uh, conflicted character to be. Yeah. I uh, feel the same way kind of about Lazel, but ultimately the Lazel path is, <laughs> I, I like, I would, I've done so much with Gale now that I've heard all his lines in all continuities. Yeah. Whereas Lazel, I've never done the, I've never made her a religious uh, zealot. I'd like to do that. Um, yeah, and I've heard Origin Lazelle actually doesn't have much unique stuff. Uh, the uh, I'm not that unique. <laughs> chuk, chuk. Um, though I did uh, date Lazelle in the beginning of this run, and we like committed to each other, and then I had the dialogue with Shadowheart where she goes, "You know, it's sad to see you know you happy, and it's not me causing it or whatever." <laughs> And then I was like, actually, you're right. I want to be with you. You, you were right the I, whole time. I broke up with Lisa. <laughs> be mean to me. I was so weak. I was like, actually, you're right. Wait, wait who, so, who are you doing? Uh, no comment. Oh. I must have misheard again. Just Basel. Me and Basel all the way, baby. Oh, the, that's the Italian one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basel. <laughs> I cook it with Basel. <laughs> have you seen Big Hero 6? Bay Max. <laughs> Bay Max. Um... Oh, we should do an Italian episode. One thing uh, I wanted to mention in relation to an episode we did recently is uh, we made an episode about the Kate Middleton conspiracy theories mm -hmm. people were having, making fun of the conspiracy theories themselves and the people who were like obsessing themselves over bad photoshops and the same shit. Desperation to be more interesting and insightful <laughs> than like I just forgot Berenstein Bears. How to say and then uh, it was announced that Kate Middleton has cancer. Um, but then surely people stopped pushing this, these crazy narratives about no. her having an affair or no, something. Now people are like doing enhance on the <laughs> fucking video and acting like presenting it as AI. Or um, I saw like some people talking about how her ring disappears on her hand because she moves and like not understanding that like <laughs> there's a thing called frame rates on cameras. <laughs> yeah. Her hand becomes blur. blurry. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, it's just, it's the real like dark side of this stuff. And I think, you know, uh, obviously the, the, where the criticism was landed for us was on the memes themselves. And then the, uh, sort of PR team <laughs> behavior, the, which is not, I don't think Kate Middleton, herself the tactlessness one, and yeah, like, yeah, posting and doing any of this stuff. Cause she's probably, she has other important things yeah. to focus on. And, um, I'm, I mean, Hey man, like you're not going to, I am staunchly not a royalist. Don't get me wrong. This has nothing to do with that. I just am a human being. Yeah. And I think I have like a, there's a blocker in me that can't just go to, hey, there's this woman I don't know with children, yeah. with a family that is like very sick. And I, you know, I'm going to post a thing that's more fun. I'm going to like look, it, that's strange. That's I a mean, weird way. Yeah, it, it's very weird time online. I mean, uh, as of this episode coming out on Friday, uh, it's Tuesday. We're having to record a little early this week, but there was just a horrific tragedy in Baltimore, Maryland. Oh yeah, um, of this cargo ship running into this uh, uh, bridge, um, Francis Scott Key Bridge, and uh, unknown, you know, casualties. There were cars on the bridge. The, like crossing the bridge when it the cargo boat is maybe on fire yeah and, they lost yeah. power and issued like a media call it's like very like much developing story right now as of this but even so i was still seeing people make kind of tasteless jokes about it and also um doing like nudes in bio posts like yeah on twitter and i'm like bro like and these are bots these are not like real people it's like and it's ai like it's like f fake OnlyFans or like fake whatever, po po posting AI photos and shit. I hate that the dialogue always ends up becoming what, like, I think you can joke about anything. I'm like, look, I, in a sense, think you can joke about anything. My claim isn't like you should go to jail. Yeah. That's not the claim. That's like a lazy way of fighting your way out of a whiff, basically. Like, oh, I went for like an offensive joke, didn't really land. Oh, you can't say anything these days. Yeah. That's not the criticism, nor I think it uh, exonerates you if it's funny or like people think it is funny. I'm, the only thing I'm saying is like, oh, that's weird. That's weird that you did that, that that was your instinct. And like yeah. the defense of that is not, you just don't like 
offensive human. Mm -hmm. And I do think, okay, so in the Kate Middleton episode, I do think that we said if she's not well, that we hope she gets better. Oh, but yeah. I will also say that here, um, that I hope she has a speedy recovery. And again, I don't think that you one would take this from our episode, but it was about the conspiracies themselves and about the obsession. And and, and a, like I, there's many eclipses that I've seen of it, and I, we like listen back to it, and I think I think it's pretty clear where we where we stand on that. But uh, yeah, the I basic think it's humanist, that, you know. I, I think it's weird that people have not let up and have still like gone. This feeds even more into the conspiracies, which is just crazy. Which is, I mean, is really just. I, I, don't get me wrong, I'm sure there's a bit of a gambler's fallacy as well. People saying that she's definitely having an affair and then someone comes out with pretty much the most, uh, like, yikes truth part. Like, if someone's claiming something, then you go like, I'm, like, really sick. You're like, oh, um, I have to go further into it then. I have to, like, yeah. go further into the conspiracy because otherwise I should be really embarrassed. Yeah, or just, just the, like, obsessing over videos that don't look like her. It's very similar to our main topic for today, uh, which is just people really wanting to see a conspiracy in not nothing. Something that's, <laughs> I think I said this before too, something that's explained by something much more boring, <laughs> <You're on. laughs> which is like, I'm sorry, that's not like as exciting to have discourse about, but like, but there's interesting stuff in the world. Yeah. <laughs> you can focus on that. It's yeah. just interesting stuff is usually complicated. Yeah. And has nothing to do with you, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, the world's weird. Like, no, actually what I did was uh, something really But yeah, I just wanted to sort of speak on that a little bit. Um, and also throw another uh, you suck to the people still yeah, posting. I just videos. don't, I mean, yeah, it's just, I do think weird. it's fun to, uh, when the stakes are low, it's fun to like kind of make fun of these conspiracies because it's a little bit of a, media literacy thing as well and also just kind of teasing apart what is clout posting versus like yeah versus like uh earnest posting which is like not i i think i now have a cynical view that like most things that are posted <laughs> online are like not earnest well because you have to there's always going to be like a um selection bias for people that post right <laughs> like, to have the instinct to post anything at all is already that's a very a weird... good point and then also the um the algorithms that be dictate that there is a um, there is a bias towards uh, extreme extreme sure, yeah. takes, you know, bothersome. Um, nuance doesn't go viral. <laughs> <laughs> it's boring. I don't want to do that. I yeah. want to talk about harm from another dimension. Um, nu nuance only in the form of pretend rage at the opposite side. I think that that's something that I like have done for years in my videos is like pretend outrage for like a more nuanced point sure, <laughs> in, yeah. in the inside because you like, because the alternative doesn't, I mean, it, it can work, but it's just like easier to be like five minute crafts sucks. And then have a actually five minute crafts does suck. That's pretty cut and dry. <laughs> yeah. But like exception um, to the rule. Yeah. 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 So to, to be like, Oh, this girl's working in target. And then, and then simultaneously be like, I think that this, co this content is not intended to present the way that it is. And I don't think this person, this individual means well, but the act and like what it represents could be viewed as harmful. Like having that, you can't put that in the title and thumbnail as yeah, easily, that's, right? No, that's too hard. Um, it, actually, she's an AI alien. Did you know that? Yeah. Um, she's the thing that makes me interesting. We wanted to talk today about um, one of my favorite little like conspiracy adjacent. It's like adjacent to everything I like, like conspiracies and dark dark matter. No, uh, conspiracy dark and urge. lost media, dark urge. Um, one of my favorite ballist conspiracies. Uh, no, uh, the Mandela effect. Oh, it never and gets old, dude. So, so there's a TikToker that, um, that does Mandela effect stuff. And <laughs> we have a little bit of a, a little bit of a game, but then also I thought it would be fun to look at some other like Mandela effect conspiracies so for starters if you haven't heard of the mandela effect imagine that you're wrong about something <laughs> yeah. but you don't feel like it <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's pretty much it so like the reason it's called the mandela effect is that people uh <laughs> like mistakenly believe that nelson mandela died in jail in like the 90s what a, by, what an awful legacy to replace nelson mandela's legacy with by the way like more people will know the name from this 
Um, however, ca- yeah, let's start with the reason we're all here. Nelson Mandela, who the theory is named after, died in 2013. Well, I mean, hey, I just knocked all this stuff off the top of my head. Interesting. However, countless people distinctly remember him dying in prison <laughs> in the 1980s. But his death isn't the only example of a Mandela effect. Well, I would hope not, because you named an effect after it. <laughs> yeah. The the Jordan piss effect. The, yeah. <laughs> don't know. Change the name. <laughs> Jordan always has to take a so fucking I don't like this idea. Piss during the podcast. I'm known for more. And that's an effect. We all experience it. <laughs> all right. And so, yeah, there's a TikToker who, uh, if you... Uh, but they frame it. Okay, this TikToker, their name is Clientel, which is, which is nice. Did, did we outline it all the way? You think? Like, uh, what... The Mandela, Mandela effect, effect is, is, yeah. It's like, oh yeah. So so the way that it's uh, the way that it presents outside of the Nelson Mandela thing is things like the Fruit of the Loom logo, where people always remember a cornucopia being a part of the Fruit of the Loom logo, and even in the patent for the logo, it mentions a cornucopia, but it's never pictured. And then artists have, but everyone remembers a cornucopia being a part of the logo. So what can an explanation be if it wasn't the logo changing? And then the logo has never had a cornucopia in the history of the fruit in Fruit of the Loom, except for maybe if you go back to like the 40s or something like that, there's some old ass thing that maybe kind of can maybe be a cornucopia. So you were, you're wrong? And and so then that's a thing. And then now there's things where people like post old shirts where they have the cornucopia, but they like used AI to put it in or they like used Photoshop. And it's like, a, <laughs> yeah. imagine if it was. <laughs> so know, it's like know. so it, that's that's one that just won't quit. Uh, there's there's a lot of them. Berenstein Bears. Uh, Which one is it? It's uh, Berenstein Bears. <laughs> also, what I what is that? <laughs> it's a book series. It's a book series okay. about a family of oh, bears. I guess you'd only read it though. That's fine. But the thing is, and it was a TV show as yeah, well. Yeah, but it was books cartoon. first, right? Because I'm first. old. I remember the books. So I I think with that one because I remember week. My, I called it Bernstein Bears when and, I was a kid. Yeah, because Bernstein is a name. And we just were mispronouncing yeah. the name. That's yeah. it. It's we, just Jewish explanation bears. Explanation done. <laughs> <Jewish bears. laughs> it's just a family of Jewish bears. Um, but yeah, so that's a thing. That always happens. See, there's tons of things. Rihanna, Rihanna, you know what I mean? Like, and I just pr- mispronounce stuff. Is it the general? Because I know there's like the kind of tears of, of the Mandela effect, because we might use the term to be like, hey, we misremembered something or misinterpreted something when we were younger. But I think now it's primarily used as the the explanation is I have desynced from my original right. reality. That is now because now the way that it enters the like conspiracy zone is that people present it as if they are they were in a parallel reality, Steinsgate style. They were in a different <laughs> world line <laughs> where like uh, everything was the same. Every conspiracy starts with a cope. Yeah, everything is the same except for the logo on my shirt. <laughs> Wait a minute. I thought Starbucks was a mermaid. <laughs> it yeah. must have been. Um, and so the the clientele series of videos is the day we realized we weren't from this universe, part 67. So now it's That's creating a, a community. <laughs> it started creating a community of if you also misremembered this collectively. <laughs> we are all from the different universe. I, We're from universe 1B. Dude, he spent like, a, like so much of his year misremembering, like realizing he wasn't from this universe. 67 days. Day, yeah. He spent more than two months just being like, I don't think I'm from this universe. Yeah, how many days can you realize? Someone someone is like, I've watched all 66 previous parts and I it felt like I was I think I'll not here. from your universe, but now that you showed oh. me part 67, I realize I am a part of oh, it. Welcome. Yeah. Beat me up. Elaine wasn't blonde from Seinfeld. I yeah. guess I'm from somewhere else. Also, Dog Tech, thank you for your service <laughs> to this guy, you know. Oh, you got to have the TikTok. This okay, what? our universe. Okay. Our universe, Guy Fieri, wore these visors frequently on his shows. Again, the fact that the universe differentiality hinges upon Guy Fieri in any capacity is awesome. Yeah, and had no other impact on like, you know, there was no other butterfly effect as to who became president or like yeah. what, uh, if there was a different war. It's like uh, the rebuild of Evangelion movies where the water's red. <laughs> Okay, okay. Their, their universe. Wait, but that's just like the end of the first movie. Sorry for your Ava heads out there. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Wait, their universe never wore a visor on any of his shows ever. Who's in On his, sh- I don't know if I remember him wearing a visor on his shows, but that's, is that a photo that's of him? 
The, it, it's but, definitely photoshopped because I don't think he ever walked through fire. No, he walked yeah, through yeah. well. <laughs> Guy Fieri famously him. rose from Avernus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drive his dive-ins and uh, uh, rising what from the seven the, hells. What's the what's the god um, that, oh, uh, that Karlak was imprisoned by? Zariel. Yes. <sighs> oh, shit. That's also in RuneScape. Just Stole remember. it. Stole it. Illegal. So which Guy Fieri is right? <laughs> Uh, yeah. I don't. I know. I never really watched the shows. Just, Guy Fieri in my universe is a a, a Mephistopheles thing. Yeah, he's black, <laughs> <laughs> but he wore a visor. Um, Wait, their universe being that the one he's from, or the one we're in. So there, there is the others. Us, the that's the fellas. yeah, that's ours. Okay. Do, is, is it? Can you look up Guy Fieri with a visor? <laughs> yeah, is it? <laughs> Has he never worn a visor ever? Yeah, I mean, he can take it off. <laughs> <laughs> look at him without a visor. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait, no, in the t- very first photo, he's, is it, he's wearing a visor. <laughs> he's wearing he's a visor. Wearing- oh, that's a different. That's just that's some like guy. Guy Fieri. <laughs> Oh, that's uh, that's actually Universe Six's Guy Fieri. Oh, right. That's uh, Fi Gieri. What, what, is Joji <laughs> wearing one? So, step in the right direction. Um, I don't remember him ever wearing a visor. Are they saying that photo isn't real? Nope, that isn't Guy Fieri. This particular visor is the gur. <laughs> is goo flicker the gur? <laughs> it's the gur, dude. <laughs> hunting a Hired by uh, Casador. You know what I do remember is he always wore his sunglasses on the back of his head. Yeah, he's cool. I don't know enough about Guy Fieri for this one. Well, all I know is that in their universe, he wore it on the front. <laughs> but sure, that photo doesn't... I, I can't tell if they're telling me that photo is real or not. He's just visor coded. Also, well, also, th- there's like a novelty of selling a visor with his hair in it. Yeah. Kind of implying... Oh, sorry. I just forgot what a visor was this entire time. I was thinking of the sunglasses as uh, a visor. Right. I don't have an opinion about a visor at all. <laughs> this is maybe people are just remembering that you could buy the visor with his hair. Yeah, and he's just got the vibe of someone. That- well, he wore a bandana a lot. Are they just seeing the kind of silhouette of him having something on his uh, forehead? Wait, can you like Google like Guy Fieri show shows? Okay, I'm like this looks normal to me. Yeah, with him with sunglasses. I think for for me, I was like they were saying he didn't have sunglasses on because I forgot what the word visor was for a brief moment. I think it's, it can also be that, right? I mean, no, a visor, no. sunglasses is like... Yeah, I don't... Like a Cyclops in X-Men has a visor and it goes over his eyes. Oh, in, yeah. Interesting. I don't think I have an opinion about whether or not he's ever worn a visor. It doesn't really seem to understand what we're requesting. <laughs> it's like, what do you mean? Yeah. Why would you need to know that? <laughs> I love that he's like got a like a balaclava or whatever on. Is yeah. what that's called? Yeah, so we can't find out his true identity. Right, right, right. Because he's not from here. It's like, clientele. He probably yeah. doesn't have like a social security card. Or right. Oh, <laughs> so, but we'll find him. <laughs> He's the perfect person to talk about it. I remember him wearing a white one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, Same. Okay. What? It, I guess now I do as well. <laughs> you put the image in my mind. Yeah. Like I could picture it. <laughs> yeah. I imagined him doing it. I could also buy one. I could buy a visor that's like. I remember. Like him. maybe he golfed once. Yeah, you know what? I don't know. Wait, can you Google has Guy Fieri? Well, that's a, such a stupid thing because the concept of has he ever put on a hat? I don't know <laughs> how they could even so like fucking crazy. I don't think YouTube could conceive of what we're like requesting. Oh, it's dastardly. I think it's the bandana. I just think they're thinking of the bandana. But no, there are all these hats for sale with his hair in it. Yeah, but you can't if like I think that that's for sale because. There are other people who would wear visors at this time in American yeah. history with bleached hair. Jacob, can you go I ahead and order that one? I acknowledging Guy Fieri as a member of American history. Can you, <laughs> yeah, Jacob, I, Jacob had the same instinct as me is that we should order one that's MAGA coded. Oh, yeah. Also, you can't, like, if you sold this product just the as a that? wig. It's like a dog bowl with his face on it? <laughs> the hell is that? Oh, that's haunting. Oh, it's a bucket hat. Oh, gross. See, in my universe, I remember him wearing a bucket hat with his own, with his face, own on face on it. <laughs> so he doesn't lose track. Remember when people would wear masks with faces Rough, below dude. them? Yeah, very unnerving. I, yeah, none of these visors look right, right to me. So I guess I'm from their universe. This one. <laughs> right. So we're not, oh, we're not from the universe he's from. But here's part 59. Maybe oh, he's going to okay. convince us. It's the same thing. Mm-hmm. Right. Beats by Dre. 
our universe. Uh, oh, Beats by Dr. Dre. Well, I've never seen the logo say Beats by Dre. I mean... And it also <laughs> immediately rebranded to Beats. There's no way... I mean, maybe it, at some... look. Up, I guess look up Beats by Dr. Dre. I, I guess it could have and then changed. I just... I've never seen Beats by Dr. Dre, which proves the point. Yeah, I guess you might be from their universe. England. <laughs> Wait, no. Our universe is Beats by Dre. Yeah. N- but no. they well, so it's it's a difference of what people say versus what the actual logo is. No, but I just looked it up. It's it always been that? Well, it says beatsbydre.com. Huh. Oh, they, wait, go to beatsbydre.com. Is that someone is that a, a Mandela effect website? <laughs> <laughs> what I think he's doing is he's playing on a there's a very insidious thing happening here. Shout out to the anime Angel Beats, by the way. That was kind of a <laughs> was banger. Just a pop up for that. That, that, that Angel a Beats is very OP, good. Yeah. Um, everyone said Beats by Dre. No one ever said Beats by Doctor. Because Dre. people don't whether, say Doctor Dre anymore. Whether or not the logo ever said Beats by <laughs> Dre is not something that I'm willing to have a discussion about because it's not something I've ever thought about or seen. <laughs> yeah. Like, can can you look at the like? Okay, first Beats headphones in box. Oh, hello. I don't remember the logo having words. I just remember the <laughs> yeah. B, you know? Yeah, exactly. But the thing is, originally it was Beats by Dre, and then they rebranded oh. after the Apple acquisition to Beats. Oh, that, that one looks promising. Beats by Dre. And I say oh, and Dre. Beats by Dre. Wait, it says both. That's the thing is, Wait, I think they've used both because their Instagram right now, like I think I don't see the I don't see Beats the, by But the Dre. bottom left, Beats by, oh, no, it is Dr. Dre. Ah, uh, fuck. Um, I'm stupid. I think they, people colloquially maybe were saying Beats by Everyone Dre. Everyone was saying And Beats. so they just, like, their Instagram is Beats by Dre. Which, yeah. Which, so everyone said Beats by Dre, but then, like, the iconography is Beats by Dr. Dre because that's his artist's name. Yeah. Is Dr. Dre. Which one is he saying is their universe? Like, He's saying that Beats by Dre, he basically photoshopped the logo to not say doctor. And then is saying, isn't that what we all know? That's their universe. Like he's saying, oh. our universe beats by Dre. But now that looks just like it says beats by Dre. Beats by Dre. By Dre. You know, to be fair, if I, if you did remove one of the words, <laughs> it would say that. You know um, what I mean? So my thing is, I've never seen this logo at all because <laughs> I never had Beats headphones, and I only saw them people wearing them. And then all people said was Beats by Dre. And the website is Beats by Dre. And the Instagram is Beats by Dre. And that's because colloquial, colloquially it's known by be, as Beats by Dre. Whether or not they say Beats by Dr. Dre doesn't fucking matter. We also just don't really say... We haven't said, like, Dr. Dre since, like, Curtain Call. No, yeah, no <laughs> one said it. Dr. Dr. Dre said... Nothing, you idiots. Dr. Dre's dead. Now he's just a tree. <laughs> <laughs> I took away the dog. Maybe he lost his license. Oh, oh yeah. Fuck. He lost his license to practice. Mm, uh, now I feel bad for making fun of him. We just want to <laughs> go home. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with this? Also, where are you in this universe? Where's the other them? Well, it's the people in the comments. But no, I mean, where are, there's the, where's the normal one of them? If they came to a new universe that was a parallel universe. As yeah. a 34-year-old, it's always been Beats by Dre. If they're, they're wrong. 34 taking uh, taking position on that one, taking clout. Stone and Bala. Okay, actually, the most mind-blowing account on TikTok, people stealing my content like crazy. That is mind-blowing. All right, I don't, okay. Look, I'm a very procreator person. <laughs> I have nine children. <laughs> Legend. I'm very into procreation. Bam. <laughs> no, um, the, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm actually a virgin. <laughs> I, my, my main thing is so far, what I've seen of his content is listing images that he did not create uh, and pointing to the text. In our universe. And then going, in our universe, in their universe. Well, in their universe, he stole content. <laughs> and, so, and so while I don't want to belittle, and I, we will watch more of this content, but while I don't want to belittle the creativity and the creations of this person, I have, I do not think it's fair for him to claim other people's content people as stealing him, content. Ste- them stealing his content. Stealing my content like crazy. Because also if they're stealing it, it's also something they remember. 
<laughs> they're also recording. But these it. are like famous Mandela effects. Yeah, the, he's not making these up. Like these are things that the internet has talked about Dude, before. I remember Nelson Mandela dying in prison. <laughs> Do you guys recall this? Yeah, that's, that's actually my theory. That's actually my it's Mandela effect. <laughs> um, do we have more? Because I want to keep watching these. I see we're traveling back further and further to the, his origin. The day we realized we weren't from this universe, part 26, 2.0 videos from my original account that got banned. I wonder why his original account got banned. Well, it's TikTok, so anything could happen. <laughs> yeah. It had like feet in it or something. Our universe. Judge oh. Judy has a gavel. <laughs> Their universe. Wait. She doesn't have a gavel. But only just two different photos. <laughs> it's just two different photos of Judge Judy. Well, I think the theory, I okay, I'm having to add additional context because he's not <laughs> doing it. But I believe the theory is that people remember Judge Judy having a gavel. Is, is, isn't and that Judge show Judy run didn't for a 150 years? <laughs> <laughs> she could have introduced a gavel at some point. Uh, question, like just Google, did Judge Judy have a gavel? Did Ma Nelson Mandela have a gavel? <laughs> he left it in prison. But again, this is something where it's like she's a judge, so maybe your brain just inserts gavel. Uh, yeah, because there's nine other judge shows, and I'm sure one, Judge Joe Brown might have had a gavel. And so, <laughs> look at the cards. Uh. Ever used the gavel is insane. Of course she has. Oh, Judge Judy gavel, uh, Mandela effect solved. They call them oh, MEs uh, in the Mandela <laughs> effect community. <laughs> Me solved. Uh, by the way. This one looks like it's older than the TikTok, so people stealing my content from the other universe. Yeah, like crazy. Um, there's a popular Mandela effect regarding TV's Judge Judy. Well, I thought that TikTok creator created it. Sorry. They're lying. I just can't get over people claiming like f famous Mandela effects. Stealing my content. There's a popular Mandela effect regarding TV's Judge Judy. Many people say they recall she has slash had a gavel. Judge's hammer. <laughs> <laughs> the weapon of a judge. <laughs> that, it's like a Bulger's Gate item. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a versatile hammer. war hammer. Tiny, tiny gavel. Um, which she off okay, by the way, fighting game where a judge has a tiny gavel, but when they swing it, it turns oh, big. Oh, oh, like, dude, like uh, Ramona Flowers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, which she often bangs in order to order the court. What? When in you fact, you've of a judge. <laughs> unlike other TV judges, oh. Judge Judy actually does not and never has Whoa. used a gavel on TV. Edit turns out she did for a small number of episodes way back in the 90s, but not since then. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, Edit, yeah, she actually has, actually she and that's has what you're gavel. remembering. I think or you're conflating Mandela. it with every other judge show, <laughs> of which there was a explosion of judge shows back in that day. I think I, I don't know. I feel like my only option in this situation is to say with complete confidence that there are multiple realities, and I'm from the one where, like, the Berenstein Bears had uh, Adidas or whatever. Can, can you Google <laughs> Judge Joe Brown? A weapon. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, uh, uh, images. And then. Oh, bash, bash. There we go. Where? Uh, just to the left of where you were. There's Jacob. Second row. Oh, I see him. Middle row. Okay. Yeah. He had a gavel. Look at him. He's got his gavel. Legend. Maybe it's just for the fellas. Oh, Judge Joe Brown. It's on NBC News. Judge Joe Brown canceled after 15 years. Yeah. Okay. It was on the air for 15 years. <laughs> after, canceled after he said something really yeah, After yeah, beating yeah. someone to death with his weapon. <laughs> His judge's hammer. That's why they removed it from Judge Judy. Oh, yeah. He had a gavel in his show. Dude, let, oh, the, oh, look at that fourth photo. That's cute. Where he's like holding it to his head. That's cute. <laughs> he's like, I'm sick in the head. Handsome you know? Italian men. What? Is he Italian? It's called Handsome Italian Men Joe Brown TV series. Oh, they're just doing the thing that they do with stock photos where they just oh. add a bunch of tag words. Oh. A handsome Italian. Um. <laughs> Classic <laughs> Italian Joe Brown. Uh, tricked again. <laughs> 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 That's sick. Oh my god! I think he maybe did something bad. Okay, let's keep doing. Let's keep doing these. I like. Could I start wearing a balaclava when I fitted? <laughs> that would look cool. You have a similar hat. An opinion. Bell, okay, wait, pause. Our universe, Bell Biv DeVoe. <laughs> and then he shakes his head. Bell. Their universe. Wait, what changed? Did the L, it's got a second L. Oh, I don't fucking, I don't fucking know. I, 
don't know who this is. Oh, this is they sing the song Poison. Oh, okay. That, that girl, girl is poison. poison. Don't trust uh, a big butt and a smile. <laughs> there we go. With Bubble one L. Um, <laughs> I mean, I think uh, I yeah. So like you literally, people it. are disagreeing in the comments. Oh, oh wait, no, no, people are agreeing in the comments. I, uh, <laughs> you know, it's really funny. I do not. Th- I think it is double L. Um, that's so funny. His name is Ricky Bell. Always has been, and it's spelled with two L's. <laughs> it's with Ricky Bell. I mean, that's what's so frustrating about this conspiracy theory. Is like, yeah, of course you think that. You're from here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no, man. I just know when I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait. Can you can you go to the Wikipedia page for Bell Biv DeVoe? They're hiding it. Yeah, I want to look at the members of the group. Ah, yes, Ricky <laughs> Bell. <laughs> Michael Bivens, Ronnie DeVoe. It's their fucking names. <laughs> That's so crazy. Well, but in the other universe, their last name was Bell, a name no one has. Um, His name was Bel Air. <laughs> yeah, and they were members of New Edition, which I actually didn't know. Well, in, in, the, in the other universe, it was NU. Division. I know of New Edition, but... <laughs> it was No Edition. Oh, I see. Is it Bobby Brown? Check their website. Yeah. What's going on on belldevoe.com? I think that's what happened what is Bobby it? went uh, solo. What? Also, they, they uh, New Edition had one of those um, classically absolutely horrible managers mm. that just like abused them and never oh, let them oh, get paid. Oh, 80s, 90s are, yeah. yeah. It's crazy that Belle DeVoe is still on tour. Let's that's go. That's sick. Let's go. That changed their name. <laughs> now there's no L or oh, there's no they consonants. Just, they, now they're just BBD. <laughs> Featuring rerun, <laughs> Re- Rev Run from Run DMC. That is such a, and from Run's house. <laughs> Does anybody remember that? Yeah. <laughs> Why? I don't know. The the Mandela effect thing is always kind of wig me out because it's not like one of those conspiracy copes where something else about your life is compromised by being wrong, like. Oh, no, I shouldn't question like my racism because then that changes. Like I have to dislike uh, diversity initiatives because then that means that otherwise I'm less valuable or I'm not superior. This is just like I have to. It has to be Berenstein or what? <laughs> well, I'm not allowed to be wrong. <laughs> yeah, what is a- this one that has a million views? Do you see right, right kind of towards the center? Yeah. If you remember any of these photos, it's safe to say you're getting those memories from your alternative self in an alternate universe because they never existed here. I don't think that's safe to say. They never existed. I don't think it's safe to say that. I think there, there's a thing called false memories. <laughs> yeah, especially if you show me an image. Also, you know, <laughs> memory is like one of the least trustworthy aspects yeah. of your brain because yeah. it can be altered over time. Eyewitnesses yeah. are worthless. Like you can't like. <laughs> yeah. I saw it out there, yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> I saw Bell Bibbo, so. Do you remember Jaws? Okay. Is it the bite out of the J? I've never seen that bite out of the J in my life. That's but is that funny. what that, is that, because Jaws is a movie that oh. happened, yes. Okay. Oh. J- Judge Judy with the gavel, we know what that one's cool. about. <laughs> I love the person saying, take me back, because I know these existed. This like world somebody sucks. Saying, Judge Judy and Jaws did not exist in this universe. <laughs> it's It's interesting. Are they going to show us the... Fixed versions, because no, I guess I, I remember crisscross. <laughs> Wait, what? I crisscross. What about it, it? These are all Mandela effects, but how did they spell crisscross? Did they think his name was Chris? <laughs> Here, I'll look it up. It was always crisscross. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. What? What is that? Is it like? I I don't know, but I don't think it's spelled like that. Oh, did you scroll? You're not allowed to do that. You devil. <laughs> TikTok has the stupidest behavior on desktop. Oh, yeah, the Monopoly man having a, a mustache or something like that. Oh, wait, are they not going to show us the other version of it? Ooh. Oh, sex in the city versus sex and the city. It's just because people said sex in the city I like know. that. And yeah. Then verbally. Just... The, wait, wait, what was that? The Moses we remember? <laughs> what happened to Moses? <laughs> he died what? in prison. He was actually what? really small. Can you remember? <laughs> Who remembers Moses? <laughs> yeah. When I hung out with him, he looked nothing like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. He wasn't Shaved. made of stone at all. <laughs> wait, what is Little Tykes? And why? No, there's no way. The logo was just cut. That can't. No way. 
I don't know. That was an animation, I thought. Huh? Wait, can, okay. <laughs> can we look up the Little Tykes logo? What is this? What is Also, he... what did they say crisscross? How was it spelled? With a K, with Ks. No, in their universe, they wore the clothes forward. <laughs> they just it wore is, the clothes normally. It's spelled K-R-I-S-K-R-O-S-S. -S. That's what I can't, I don't know what he was. Uh, What's he trying to say? Yeah, oh, they... oh, K R S. I think I think they were saying it didn't have a double S. They really need to explain themselves. Yeah. Um, it's I'm yet to see one where I'm not like, but oh, okay. whoa, like the word. You did not Photoshop all these. You, where did you get these images no, from? No, no, he did this in the other not, universe. You're not, this is not people stealing your content. You didn't make these images. They're stealing it like crazy, Joe. Literally, there's no audio. There's no fucking audio. It's a black screen, and then it shows a bunch of images that he did not make. And then he's like, people keep stealing my content. You know, actually, come to think of it, in my universe, someone stole his content like crazy. <laughs> this is like those, uh, those meme accounts that uh, steal memes, like Fat Jerry or oh, whatever. Oh, yeah, with like a watermark and, on it. And then, they, like, and then they, they say, well, we curated it, so it's ours. That's a good, really good And then, they, yeah, they have like uh, their logo over someone's logo, and it's a video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. The SpongeBob movie. <laughs> it's just like an hour and 20 minute Twitter video. Okay, so we're going to wrap this up with uh, Jacob's Mandela quiz. What is that? I'm oh, sorry, on the image. Uh, so oh, yeah. which one do you guys remember? So the pra I don't know what the top of the White House looks like. I'm mean, going to guess flag. I would think. Yeah, they I love I guess flag, but like now, but, but it feels obvious. So yeah. I'm like, it must not. But I also be. don't know what that one is. Yeah. <laughs> is it like it's a, a statue or something? The statue of it's George the president. Washington. Yeah. <laughs> it's whoever is the current It's president. actually a fountain. It's like a little man pissing off the. <laughs> it's Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, wait. That's not the White House. What's it? What? The Capitol? Is it Capitol? Capitol building? building. Speaking of, guys, Sad Boys merch sale, January 6th, nope. 2025. <laughs> nope. Don't, we will see you there. We will Nancy not. Pelosi's desk. We're bringing it back. We will not. Oh. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's up there then? It is Calvin Pissing. Oh, brilliant. Oh. Is that Lady Liberty? Statue of Freedom. Oh, she's okay. got a sword, dude. That's I mean, cool. considering considering I initially thought it was the White House for some reason, even though I know what the White House looks like, I was like, the White House doesn't have a dome. But uh, Wait, which one existed first, Statue of Freedom or Statue of Liberty? Because that kind of seems redundant. Statue of Liberty was a gift from France. That's what yeah. I'm thinking. I'm thinking they copied. After. Copied. <laughs> copied. Copiers. I copied. Lost that. Oh, you guys thought France was so good for for like uh, locking in uh, bodily rights recently. Just, well, they stole. This a is statue. like those drawing a po drawing Pokemon from memory videos, <laughs> yeah. where it's like I don't like I okay sure. no. yeah that makes sense. You remember the stripe being somewhere else? Like, yeah, yeah, I don't work at Niantic. I don't Did know. Did you ever uh, read Highlights magazine when you were a kid, where yeah. it's like spot the difference in mm -hmm. these two photos? Mm -hmm. I feel like that's why this stuff is hard because you're like, I don't, I don't know. They that's why I always fail I mean, those like, quizzes is I'm from another universe. Don't think about the Capitol <laughs> building like that. I find I don't have any discomfort being wrong. <laughs> I'm wrong about things all the time. I would look at that and go like, oh, I guess I'm stupid. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. I know this one. This is like peanut butter, right? Yes. It's G Jif? Jiffy? Hmm. Jiffy, right? It's I'm thinking of lube. Exactly. And that's why everyone thinks of that. No, sorry. I'm not wrong. I meant the, I'm thinking of what it is in my universe. There's, oh, right, 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 yeah, right. Yeah. Their slogan used to be choosy moms, choose Jif. Yeah. And then there's also. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> that's weird. Yeah. And, and yeah, I, I, it's always Jif. I, yeah, yeah. I mean, Jiffy wouldn't really fit on the can very well. Can. <sighs> Yep, a classic. Oh, yeah. A classic. Fuck that cornucopia. <laughs> that shit was never there. It looks nasty. It's ruining but, the real estate. But it did, for some reason, taught a lot of people what a cornucopia was. <laughs> I don't even think The I'm cornucopia sure. council was so excited. Yeah, oh. the council of, <laughs> this, Oh, it's agitprop. The Cornish Council of Cornucopias. <laughs> They, those sneaky bastards sneak that into a uh, cultural dialect <laughs> just to sell more cornucopias. Yeah. Is that flower? What is that? Oh, it's the brown part. Of, of the... It's Wait, the little, what? 
What is it? What's the Fruit of the Loom? Yeah. It's clothing. Oh, it's clothing. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, it's like underwear and stuff. Respect. Because I remember and being fruit. <laughs> uh, uh, underwear and t-shirts. Yeah. In my universe, it was pants. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> I know why people would get this wrong. Yeah. It's <laughs> the left. It's Looney Tunes. Like the, the music. Like sounds. Like... <laughs> Like, I put, you'd think it was the other one because they're cartoons. Because they're cartoons, so it's easy, an easy mistake to make. Right. It's not like if it was like Looney Tames, yeah. <laughs> like in my universe. <laughs> the Looney Steen Bears. Looney Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Febreze doesn't have the dub, the double E, but it's still sp- pronounced Febreze, so if you're writing it up phonetically, people might put the extra E there. Yeah, it's Italian, you know. God, I'm so good at this That's because I'm Fibonacci. so good at beef from fucking Mandela effect. <laughs> Because I'm so tired of them. It's funny seeing the ones that are actually like the products that I saw in the UK. And I'm like, well, what is the other thing that people think this could be? I will be pronouncing this Fabrete. 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 <laughs> oh, my eyes smell too much like a prosciutto. I need to do clean. I had to kill. Makes sense. Oh, it's. Mm, let me take a guess because this is not a thing we had either. I yeah, know there's a Wienermobile. Uh, and that's like if, if they remember W E E N E R, Wiener. <laughs> like weaning? Oscar Meyer has a way with B O L O G N A. What does the Wiener Mobile do? It drives, drives around. around and. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can say the same about a, the Batmobile. <laughs> An attractor. Uh, one time. So, when do, was... so does Jarvis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have a lot in common with the Wiener Mobile. We, do, you. we call his car the Jarvis Mobile. Yeah, we do, yeah. Um, I... It does have a giant hot dog on it. <laughs> It's too heavy to get When off. I was a kid, I saw it and I got so excited and ran up to it. And the people gave me a little whistle shaped like the Wiener Mobile, and I still have it. Ooh. That's I don't it like that it's a whistle. Because <laughs> 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 it's too it's too phallic. suggestive, <laughs> right? And it's too I oh. think it's too suggestive to give a child. I'm sorry. I didn't even think about I'm that. just imagining. Maybe I've just been uh, burned by the internet. But you yeah. gotta be careful. But I think I think I I'm just imagining. Whenever I think of stuff like that, I think of like old guys going, <laughs> they have no idea. <laughs> yeah, she. Well, it's better than just a straight hot dog. True. Or a cock. <laughs> <laughs> they shouldn't give that out either. That would be weird, True. wouldn't it? It's May, M E Y, right? Okay, so this one I actually don't fucking know, but I think it's. Uh, I think it's M A. I think it's M A. Yeah. Because it's they, it's in the song. They spell it in one of the songs. Wait, don't they say Meyer? How do you? How do you? Well, say that's it? the Oscar thing. Meyer. It doesn't fucking matter because because it could be pronounced the same way with either spelling and M E Y E R is a more common what, name than yeah. M A Y E R. Yeah. What do you um? What do you all say? How does John Mayer spell his name? Like that, yeah, yeah. Like the like the fucking baloney. Like what a loser, <laughs> dude. Like the name. Oh, what dude. What a fucking L, dude. I see him putting it in his mouth, bro. He's glazing <laughs> it up. <laughs> Ooh, that's you. <laughs> He's just like ignoring <laughs> us. Uh, your body is a wonder bread. <laughs> yeah, if you know what I'm saying. Dude, I just. Oh, that's more phallic than a regular hot dog. That's weird. Yeah. This is just like their street team, you know? What are the, Every hot dog company needs this. They need like a hype team, you know? Yeah. What, what do I want to eat right now? Um, beep, beep. Imagine if like, I'm a pro athlete, I show up to games. You know, people show up in their like McLarens and shit like that. <laughs> I, I show up in the Wienermobile. In the, in the, yeah, I show up in the blimp. <laughs> oh my God. Did I know somebody who drove the Wienermobile? Did we know somebody? Oscar Mayer. It was John Mayer. That rings a bell, but maybe you just inserted the... Oh, we have a... No, Thought it's, into my brain. Is that a list of drivers? What is this? This? The win, uh, Wienermobile drivers. No way. The driver of a Wienermobile is called the hot dogger. That's awesome. The hot dogger. Oh, my God. The hot dogger's job is to, air quotes, meet, M-E-A-T, and greet people around. The, that's very inappropriate. A kid comes up and you're like, time to meet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to meet me, kid? Um, College uh, seniors, is that what you said? Are about to graduate, are eligible. I wish I had done that when I was in college. I'm too old. Anastasia, I'm going to call you out. Oh, my God. Um, Address. I found a text between us from May 12th, 2021. In it, we're talking about a friend of ours. I'll, talk, I'll tell you after. A friend of ours who got to ride around in the Wienermobile. You spelled Oscar Meyer with an E. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Wait, which university did she text that from? 
Oh shit, it doesn't say. Oh, okay. Oh, Wait. it does say out of universe. It's a green oh. bubble. <laughs> yeah. Sent what from my universe. Uh, 2021. May, May 12th, 2021. Wow. I fucked up. In that universe, androids have the blue messages. I, believe. I, oh, yeah. I outed myself as not being from here. From this universe. You like, disappear. When you get outed, you have to go back to your, yeah, you're, you're vaping, vaping out of, away. yeah, you're vaping out of, uh, you're like, <laughs> I'm Sucking out. one end of it. <laughs> this whistle's crazy. That would be fun, a whistle-based vape, and then you blow back into it after. An it Oscar Mayer wiener mobile. A smoking dog. Well, they said, <laughs> they <laughs> call me the hot dog. Hey, go ahead, pull up the nut mobile. That's actually my car. Uh, you when you, you hot box inside of a wiener mobile, it's also called the hot dogger. <laughs> what about baby nut? Don't what say about? that on the podcast. <laughs> Jesus. The nut mobile vehicle? Yeah, Why does that exist? It's my car. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, it is It is Mr. Peanut's car. What yeah, the fuck? What the fuck is this? <laughs> so wait, hold on, slow down. There's one that hands out a phallic meat and there's one that hands out nuts. See? Pervert. That's, That's what the people want. Disgusting. Pervert. That's nuts. That's meat. Would anybody like my nuts? Request the nut mobile. All right, we got to request it. <laughs> yeah, when, Next today? Next the podcast <laughs> is the fucking Honestly, if, we, <laughs> house, if you guys do another live show, should we request the nut mobile? We roll up in the nut mobile. Yeah. Looking to request the world's largest peanut on wheels? Yeah. <laughs> iconic. Not that iconic, mate. Never fucking. Oh, wait, wait, they did a pun. Is currently touring the country. Mr. Peanut, uh, <laughs> restricted, is currently touring the country in his iconic nutmobile and would love to cash you on the road. In my universe, it's spelled catch you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Event description, having nuts. <laughs> Hungry for nuts. Yeah. Or whatever. Also, the Oscar Mayer logo having a pink circle for That's like right. baloney, I'm assuming, is kind of nasty. I think that was just in all of like the other. Oh, oh never mind. I thought it was a part of the logo. Because <laughs> you know when you, if you buy Oscar Mayer baloney, yeah. it is in a, like a circular package. Also, I don't know why, but. Perfectly circular meat grosses me out. Yeah, that's a worrying one for me. <laughs> like, is this from? Okay. What even is bologna? I don't. Don't look it up. It's a composite. Yeah, like steel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's like made of different. Components. If you take bronze and iron, <laughs> you get salami. <laughs> I imagine bologna is just like a giant hot dog that they slice. Yeah, that the, makes sense. With the car, <laughs> they run it over. It's, uh, remember that controversy about the pink goo? Yeah. Like, mm. What was that? Chicken nugget. Oh. Right? <laughs> I, thought, I don't know why you're going, chicken <laughs> nugget. nugget. It was very funny to me. <laughs> that was like text to speech. Chicken nugget. Yeah. Uh, one of those rocket raccoon on a TikTok. Chicken nugget. <laughs> Um, Top 10 times I had it. Rocket Raccoon. <laughs> that episode of uh, Abbott Elementary where Bra Bradley, that aired after the Oscars, where Bradley Cooper guest stars as himself, and then he's uh, in the class, and then <laughs> he uh, they, they're like going off of the... Um, his listing off his roles and then like the kids don't know him that and he's like he's also in Guardians of the Galaxy and then the, one of the janitors goes no you're not <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes come on I'm record I can't do a record raccoon by the way hey come on I'm record raccoon and then everybody's like oh, it's very cute oh okay, okay. Oh, this well, one's for you this welcome for to you, the Jordan. dojo <laughs> well yeah welcome yeah how dare you do how dare you quote the 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 dark magic to me I was there when it was written. <laughs> If you get this wrong, legally, we yeah. take away I, every I would never Pokemon I'm doing an Eldritch Blast. You know uh, he, I get how they got there. It's another one where I see what they're living like symmetry, yeah. kind of. Yeah. It's uh, no black stripe, yes? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Which good, because it looks weird with it. I don't know. That's actually from He a does have a little brown stripe at the back of his tail, which has like become less and less pronounced over the years. Wait, Jacob, go back, bring you a little bit. That's Powell Will. Ah, I see the yes. mistake. Yeah, <laughs> don't lay at them. Don't, <laughs> don't put them side Stop by side. Stop it. Stop that. That's Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu. That's Pikachu. <laughs> Lee. Ch Chica poo. Yeah. Cheeky, cheeky little poo. Cheeky poo. Oh, I mean. No, I mean. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Wait. Oh, uh, so <laughs> is this what you had? <laughs> Isn't there an example of this? Where Funyuns are you from, Jacob? <laughs> I love it. It's the two types of Funyuns, but Jacob's included one image and it's just some loose Funyuns. <laughs> 
That's so <laughs> funny. How did you find that? That's so <laughs> funny. Did you, is it, did you just think? I do, I do think it's, I do think it's fun yuns on the left. It's fun yuns, right? Because funny yuns looks like something you get on your feet. <laughs> yeah. It's like, looks like funny yuns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think they must have known. Like they had a marketing meeting where they were like, oh, we can't do the one that looks like bunions. Yeah. yeah. I also don't really want funny yuns. Oh, right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she hates being painted. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Um, oh my god, that's so funny. I mean, it's... Wait, now I'm worried I'm going to be wrong. What's the difference? It's a, She's smiling. <laughs> oh, oh. She's so happy. But the... Uh, I think... But okay, wait. I think I'm going to be wrong. But in my head, the Mona Lisa is not smiling. And the, there's like discourse about that. She has a devilish secret. Like, Because I happy? think there's a term called a Mona Lisa smile... And I think that term means like you're, you're it's like a, okay, I'm going to mess that up. But it means like you're not, you're not using your mouth to smile. It's left. It's the left one, right? That's not real or is real? Is real. Go to the Wikipedia page. Oh, no. Wait, I, I feel like, wait, hold on. No, the one that you used, I feel like she's smiling. She's happier. And she's happier in the one you showed. This is the Mona Lisa smile. It feels like that's in between the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back to the one. Oh. Oh. Um. No, there no, she is. no, no, no. That's it. God. Okay. For some reason, it looked like she was smiling more than she actually is in mm. that one. Let me go and get the edit of me getting her right, not laughing at how bad it was. <laughs> Let me go ahead and throw that in. Oh, what the hell? There is a chance that subtle touch-ups over time for this have actually created more or less of a smile. Mm. Have you seen those videos of like uh, the like yellow varnish that like over hundreds of years has like, well, the varnish to finish paintings like turned yellow oh. over the years and it makes a lot of these old paintings like look really yellow. Yeah. And there's like a process to remove it and it like makes the painting look like fresh and like new. It is art conservation in my opinion, is like one of the coolest things because you have to kind of it's be a, a scientist. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Which, yeah, to be and fair, if the smile moves a little, it's a, yeah, it's yeah. fine. You did a pretty good job. I, yeah. you know, if I'm in a fender bender and you give me back the car with a scratch, I'm like, yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah I, I feel like the. Or um, if the car is 100 years old, <laughs> still yeah, running. It's one of those speedsters. Oh, here it is. Oh, oh, oh cool. It's, just, it's like oddly satisfying. Yeah, I guess people weren't more yellow back then. <laughs> it's like it gives that vibe that like the past was in sepia tone. Well, that's what I'm curious about. I want like uh, colors degrading and the general way that things desaturate over time. I guess is the reason that we associate sepia with the past. Yeah, yeah. we've just taken. It's not like when things are shot like to look like Mexico. It's crazy because like, the... like thinking like the way the world looks now and the way that a tree looks or like a bug looks is mostly the same yeah. that it looked like in like Mona Lisa's time. Yeah. And that's hard for my brain to think it's about. It's difficult to conceive of their clothes being like textured, just like regular silk or whatever. Yeah. One incredible Instead example. Instead of like flowy paint strokes. Yeah. An incredible example of what we're talking about is that Peter Jackson World War One documentary yeah. that he made where he uh, took actual real film from World War One and changed the frame rate colorized it and had lip readers figure out what the people were saying. So they dubbed it as well. It's unsettlingly. It's like, you've never seen footage from world war one like this before. I think there's genuinely a comfort that comes with alienating it from reality. Like this war didn't happen. It's like, you know, the past. It, it feels more real in this documentary than like, and it's upsetting. Imagine the dub is all New Zealanders. <laughs> I was twenty at, pencils. I remember I was at war, <laughs> and I wasn't a big fan of trenches. <laughs> <laughs> it's bloody windy here. <laughs> My feet are wet. Because I don't think people realize how much film footage was taken. <laughs> Sorry, what happened there? They, oh, wait, I the thought they were trying to do something. <laughs> yeah. They were trying to do something here. <laughs> oh, are those no? Are, are those like poppies? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they don't do that here, right? No. Yeah, the poppies and so, they only in 
Jolly well, old. they do it in uh, New Zealand too, and the UK, right? Do that probably. That's too. where World War One happened. <laughs> no, I can't do New Zealand really. Well, I can. It's just, it's but I just gotta. I got. I, I can. Ugh. It, New Zealand feels like I'm going too far into Australia. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I can only see twenty pencils because of uh, Fly of the Concords. That was oh, like yeah. a joke in one of their. So is it? This is the colorized world. Whoa! World. It looks just is like this a, guy. Looks okay. like BBC News. Footage from the war, which has been painstakingly restored, colorized, and converted into 3D by Jackson's team at Wingnut Films in New Zealand. Whoa! Ooh, what's that guy doing? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! What? When they said d t turned into 3D, what do they mean? So I saw this film in the theater in with 3D glasses. Oh, wow. Oh. And I, uh, I really wanted That's to see it. It's an insane concept <laughs> where it's like, whoa, <laughs> it's World War One. Look out, it's a tank. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, They're like doing things to the right in front of the camera to make it seem like more 3D. Peter I mean, Jackson's like, and then the Luftwaffe. <laughs> There are so many movies that they're like, we want to show what it was really like in yeah. war. This is what, like, this is the closest experience I've had with a film. Right. Because watching it with 3D glasses and everything, <laughs> like, in a theater, I was like, oh, World War One was actually super fucked up. And they also yeah. show stuff. And that, not that you didn't know that. No, not that I didn't but, know that. But World but War One, like, especially is very kind of romanticized in a gritty way. War. Yes. And World War Two, I feel like so much of the imagery now was recontextualized by Saving Private Ryan. Right. The, uh, the D-Day sequence, it made it uh, blue. Yeah. It like changed everyone's perspective from that was the CPO war to that's the blue war. Because I do think like a lot of movies romanticize a lot of both of those wars. And this movie, like they, you watch them go to the bathroom. You're oh, like, no. if you're in a trench war, how do you go to the bathroom? And there's footage. I go home. Of the, <laughs> That's of them rude. Going to the bathroom. And you're watching That's this in 3D. It's like, it's kind of like, gr it is gritty, but it's, it's like, honestly, the most realistic experience yeah. of there's, what war back then. There's was an like. eerily, like, accurate, uh, I don't think I want to share it because it is like, uh, uh, share the anecdote, but I, I don't think I want to share the image because it's, you know, it's a private family thing, but I have a portrait of my grandfather who died long before I was born, so I never met him, but he looks like a lot like me, my white granddad. Respect <laughs> to the, the good side, <laughs> the hero. Um, and he was in World War One. He had a monkey. That was an anecdote for some reason. He was stationed in India, which, mm, mm -hmm. yeah, uh -oh. but like, you know, Hey, sometimes England's not good. You know. <laughs> uh, he was stationed sometimes. in India, had a monkey. I don't think he was like generally in, involved in conflict. I think it was just like being stationed. Um, but he had, uh, he looked very much like me. And the way apparently he would talk about the war, it wasn't so much reverence, but it wasn't particularly pained. He was like, well, World War, like World War II, he was too old for that service at that point, but he was like, yeah, World War II, we were like afraid. That was like, there was fear, there was rage, there was all this stuff. And then World War One, because he enlisted like very young, he was like 15 or whatever. And then he was just like, yeah, World War One, at least where I was stationed, was just kind of like, you know, the way my mom described it to me was that it was like awkward. It was a weird, because also nobody really knew what modern war was supposed to yeah, be. It was, it was like all this machinery and like. Different we, than it had ever been before. They were still using swords, which is That's sick. like if war started, broke out, like obviously there's a genocide going on, but um, if uh, if a world war happened and then it was like AI, right? Like yeah, it's like yeah. Where it's like nobody knows what this thing is. Well, What's even real? like droids and stuff. You know, it's like- Or drones, yeah. A dr <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, like uh, the CIS <laughs> from Star Wars prequels, yeah. If the Trade Federation the invaded <laughs> Naboo, for example, and the Gungans were unable to push back their invasion. Thank goodness for the for the Jedi. I mean, Order sixty six would have looked real different. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> he recolorizes Order sixty six. It's three D. <laughs> Anakin. Yeah, World War One was like they still had horses, they still had swords, but they also had airplanes and tanks yeah. and bombs and mustard gas. You must yeah. have felt probably kind of frustrating to be the cavalry guy trained your whole life, and you're like, what they? No, come what? on. We can't. 
You, do, you have to you reload it slowly. <laughs> this isn't fair. It's crying. It's cheating. <laughs> How did we even get to the war? Oh, because we were talking about old things. Mona Lisa was in it. Yeah. Like what? sepia tone not being sepia real. tone. Yeah, true, true. And then the Peter Jackson thing. Yeah. Um, Peter Jackson. I love to watch a movie. I've made a little movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we did a podcast. Thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks for Anastasia. Thanks to Jacob. Thanks to thanks to the whole team. You always welcome the show. I don't know why this would be an exception to that. This episode hey. is the first good one. <laughs> Wait, what about any thanks to me? I fucking crushed this one. Okay, funny right. as hell. Just really one more person you got to mention. Shout outs to Austin. No, he's always in there helping us with the edit. Keola, all over. I mean, we just got everything covered at this point. Okay, but who else, who else is involved? Maybe a host. Yep. Shout out to the hosts. And the ho- yeah, as we that. always say, let's hit it and quit it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that ever. Thanks to All Jarvis right. for We end trying. every episode of Sad Boys with a particular phrase. We. Let's hit it and quit it. <laughs> <laughs> and quit. Yeah. That is cool. <laughs> In our universe, it's hit it and quit it. <laughs> yeah. We end it with a different phrase. Uh, we love you. And we're sorry. Boom. Boom. Because I see in your fucking eyes that most of you don't fucking belong here. And I'll be dead, and I'll take this fucking knife off my fucking waist and carve this fucking tattoo. The modern knight project should be like, Hello, my and lord. welcome, my lord, to the modern knight project. If you can't handle it, I'll withdraw my sword and carve my very wrist. <laughs> oh, do not try to poke or slash as I'm wearing <laughs> chainmail. <laughs> <laughs> Thou squire shall never earn such armor as me. 60%. Gucci girl, Gucci girl, how you doing? How you moving, girl? Moving, girl, how's your day looking? That future girl, future girl, yeah, we are now. Take my money, go away, oh, you want it. Get too rich for me.